Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, Mortal Kombat Onslaught has introduced yet another new character that we're going to take a closer look at right here. Let's jump straight into this and have a look at Revenant Katana. Now I have had a sneak peek at her abilities, we're going to go through them in a moment, but I can tell you this is definitely a character that you want to add to your collection if you can. We're going to start with her auto abilities here at the bottom, starting with Purge the Weak, a single attack that deals damage and reduces the target's special charge by a percentage. So unlike the other version of Katana, this one will be up in your face. She won't be throwing fans from a distance, but she's going to start absorbing your special meter while she's attacking you. So definitely not someone that you want to be facing head on. For her second ability there, single target attack that deals damage and applies knockup. On successful knockup, Katana performs a follow-up attack that deals additional damage. So as you can see, just from her basic abilities there, she's going to make it really difficult for your characters to get in the fight. Not only is she taking away your charge, but she's also knocking you up in the air and preventing you from attacking her. Moving on to her passive ability here, the Dark Empress. Damage is increased by a percentage proportional to the amount of special charge missing from her target. Basic attacks absorb a percentage of her target's special charge. If any basic attacks deal critical damage, absorb double that amount. The amount of special charge that has been absorbed from her enemies is stored up to 100% and is used to increase the power of eternal damnation by that amount. After use, the power must be gained again. So not only is she taking that special charge away from you, she's also putting that back into her abilities and dealing more damage with that charge. If we have a look at her special ability here, Eternal Damnation, teleports to a target enemy single target attack dealing damage the damage of this ability is increased by a percentage of the amount of special charge she has absorbed so what this is saying is she's gonna first jump straight into your front line she's gonna start absorbing their special meter she's going to be building up that damage when she gets her special meter full she could then teleport to your back line so any of those attackers that you have from a distance she can teleport straight to them and use all of that extra damage to take them down she is going to be an extremely difficult character to come up against especially once she does have her abilities maxed out she does have a pretty decent gear set on her and on that topic if you are going to use her, it might be better to have something along the lines of a crit damage and crit chance set on her. That way you're going to make sure that you maximize all of that extra damage once she does have that charged up and can unleash that special ability. The one thing that you will want to look for on the secondary stats is probably health and defense. Because she deals so much damage, she loses a little bit as far as survivability goes so you want to make sure that you are getting those secondary stats to help boost that up a little bit and help her stay in the battle that little bit longer and take out more enemies she's gonna be great especially in the challenges against Liu Kang and Scarlet she's really gonna help you get to those higher tiers so that you can clear them a lot easier and get those better rewards just by farming those levels now I don't have a lot of blue skulls here but i believe i do have 60 of them so we'll have six chances to try and get her the odds are never really in my favor but we're gonna try it out anyway just to see how we go let's see if we can unlock her now the odds are never really in your favor for this one if you do want to get one of these new characters the only way to really guarantee is to save up 800 of those blue skulls so that way you can do the full 80 to guarantee that you will unlock that character. Because they only stick around for a limited time, it's going to take you a very long time to save things up. 
If you are free to play and you do want to save up your crystals, you can do that, purchase those extra skulls. But as you can see, haven't really gotten anything out of this at all. But not to worry, that's it for this one guys. Don't forget, like and sub, you know the deal. We got plenty more Mortal Kombat Onslaught coming your way. Don't miss out and we'll catch you in the next one.